the subtle difference between love and having your needs met and how we manipulate without realizing it sometimes in our relationships when we feel that neediness inside ourselves of affection and love and connection and we are asking to receive or feeling it or we have become used to the attachment and we're used to receiving love on that horizontal connection between other people and that is all good but what happens is um, we need to always have love in our lives and every moment love for ourselves and above all an understanding of what love is and the connection the real connection that we we can work on and get to the place where we're actually able to download the universal connection of love and the earth connection of love for ourselves and then understand that our heart is a place uh, the heart center is a place for us to to channel that love to to give that love and as long as we're expressing that love we're receiving it we're feeling it and we're living it and we are love and we're loving ourselves in every possible way and that way then we don't need to do any kind of needy manipulations and sometimes it's even hard to recognize when when we feel hurt and we feel lower energy we wake up tired and we're not inspired and life has been challenging and we want to feel that connection and we go to our loved ones with this needy field of of love me somebody please and I think it's so important that we remember and we just keep coming back and remembering that the real love that exists the real dignified universal spiritual love that exists is more of a vertical receiving from the universe and a vertical receiving from the planet and then a horizontal giving of love and this is our meditation for today we'll do it in the video just after because we always come back to this place where all of a sudden you can feel yourself going to your loved ones to your friends to your mother to your boyfriend to your husband to your children the people that usually give you and support you with affection and love and when you get to a place of spiritual maturity and you start the awakening process it doesn't mean you don't you don't receive love from family members and, and loved ones. It just means that you have a conscious awareness of the difference between receiving and channeling the universal, the earth love, the masculine and feminine, the, the father and the mother that we have eternally. It's not um, at some point with the maturity that can even help heal the mommy and the daddy issues, the inner child issues. And we'll talk about that more in another video. But if we can just keep this one to the simple, you know, receiving love from the universe, receiving love from the earth, sharing that energy, bringing the energy in balance and sharing it. And then there is no need for manipulation, fear, fear of loss, fear of losing loved ones. Manipulation, um, you know, if you don't get the expectations that you had met, you know, this is more usually in a couple and a, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, relationship, husband, wife, you know, I needed you, you weren't there for me. You know, I was having a really hard time and, you know, you promised that you would take me out for dinner and I was just waiting for that moment and I had such a hard day and then you were just gone and you weren't there. And I felt so abandoned because I had made this expectation that another human being, it was their duty or their responsibility to, to give me love and help me feel help me feel loved in any moment I need it when the responsibility to feel loved is 100% on me and so every time I'm starting to identify more and more when I get that you know needing feeling and it's interesting in our interview yesterday um, about astrology and I remember Stephanie saying to me that one of the moons or one of the signs it was like a contact lens that that would just like get sucked into your eye just that you know that drawing and it's very interesting because sometimes I, I can feel that in myself I I want to just go and 
you know, cuddle up to my loved ones and just go, you know, suck some love that I, you know, I need. Oh, oh, okay. I feel love now, you know. And it's like, my God, you know, is this my drug? Is this my addiction? You know, what's happening here? Because that, that little sucking feeling of being loved, it's such a needy place to draw from when we can be drawing from this universal source and this planetary source of, you know, the goddess mother earth and the, and the God father uh, universe energy, you know, in, in balance in our heart center. And then, you know, we breathe in and then we are just love. Then we are love. We don't need to receive love. We don't need to manipulate anyone. And okay, now I'm going to let him know that he didn't do what I wanted. Or I'm going to make her feel bad so that, you know, she has to, you know, do the correct thing and, you know, manipulate the relationship and manipulate the circumstances around us and the people around us. And we do it for all of the human things. We don't want to be alone. We need money for survival. We need food. All of that animal mind fear part. And this is one more time where we take that animal part of our brain and we say, thank you very much. Yes, I need love from people and friends and I need to have interactions and, and people to help me. But my more creative, higher awakened self, the soul awakened self says, I am complete and whole just in myself. And yes, there will be some suffering on a human level, maybe a lot of suffering if we're really attached. But this is where um, I see all these videos about attachment styles and you know, oh, I'm a, the needy attached and I'm the pulling away attached. And then I, I just, I just think it's all, um, it's all crap. It's all the bullshit of the human and the needy animal mind. And it does help us maybe analyze childhood traumas and do some inner child work. And a lot of psychologists work with the attachment styles and, and these issues. But at the end of the day, there is no attachment style and there is no attachment in what is love and you know somebody asked me the other day on a live that i was doing on TikTok, and they wrote in there you know what is your concept of love and i oh i love that question <laughs> let's get on with that one you know what is my concept of love what is love you know love is the connection and balanced power of the universe and the planet joined in perfect connection inside myself and i am expressing that into the world with my gifts, with my videos, with doing meditations, visualizing the earth healed, visualizing my words helping people, uh, visualizing my loved ones safe. That is my idea of what it is to love. And when that love, that universal and earthy, beautiful love flows through your body, you know, because don't forget about the mother, the feminine part of love and the masculine part of love. Don't forget to keep those in balance because your love power will be so much greater. And this is a huge secret. I've sort of left it to the end of the video here. And I want people to understand these secrets of love because if you can keep that earthy, beautiful energy and that beautiful spiritual energy, and you can give that out of yourself, you are love, you channel love, and you will never feel that need. You know, in this moment, being present in love, expressing love, that is presence because it's universal connection.